They don't make them like they used to. No, that's because you took the fuel, you idiot. Way to get out of these associates no, insulting My producers. Name is not Brad either. Get the oh, fuck out of here. Please. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. 
I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? Hey! What's been happening? You know, I don't know, stuff? No. I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... It's, it's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Oh, okay. Here they are. Ooh, Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less yeah, lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy! I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Wh wh what are you <laughs> There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted to... I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. <sighs> All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Look out! Maybe we ought to help her out. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went over. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Looking 
for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh, whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the Inkslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, uh. You're not gonna get me a Prince Albert, are you? Ah, you fucking prick! Jesus! Ow! Just when I thought I was big! Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Come on, my punk date! Ah. Ah. Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah. Oh. My God, uh, Papa Bear, what's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Uh, uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, uh, let's do. I always thought tramp stamps could be classy. Ah, uh, uh, you butcher! <laughs> Just so you know, I've got a beachwear photo shoot next week. <gasps> Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah, oh. There we go. Oh, Nice. Oh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash oh. you over the head with it. Oh, too That's oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Sniff, sniff. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're going to put her on your show, and you're going to make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We got to get to the therapist. What? So I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ever a family that needs therapy? <laughs> My ponytail. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. Yeah. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational for your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian around the head with the laptop. Like Fabian around the head with the laptop? Oh, yeah, like how? Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the beam machine badly. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like, finally, like, using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good not an objective universal good but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good fuck yeah awesome let's rob somebody <laughs> do it dad yeah oh, fuck shit. Maybe Sorry. The day you take off from being a psycho enough okay i love that we're getting along but knock it off yeah don't like actually rob a liquor store that might like Kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, 
Let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home then? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No. No, no, not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Freebender, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Make sure it doesn't happen. I promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Guys, I'm not really comfortable having... Stop! Comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel.
last one standing. Again. It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, Patricia, I really miss you. A time together. It was very important. Uh, I have to go. Believe it or not, I need a cab. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Be glad to hear it.
Would you send out a cab post haste? Sorry. All the drivers are busy right now. Uh, please call back later. Hey, my man, where you going? Richard's Majestic. Sorry, man. This is the limit. Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. No fucking sense. Man, I'm sorry, fool.
cracking. Hey, you got them? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless-ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the chain. <laughs> so you do want to mop, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so... He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. Ah, Norm. Came across as uh, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk.
Let's go find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? My position? Now you better not be taking that credit like your brother. Not credit. See him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah. The video. We found this brick. Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own star. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? Yeah, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on to you! Let's go! You should have told me you were one of those moves! Oh my god! You killed him! You killed him! You just killed him! We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. <laughs> Never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess. He really scared me, but I, I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try. Hey, hey! Try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once.
had a deal. We had paperwork. Hey! Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real badasses. Put a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a deal okay. with them. Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes. It's a pleasure. You fuck what? Hey, here's an old man who might hit back. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents... Those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Come in! Come in! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie, a real one. Call me.
Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Rockford Hills. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? This is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location.
Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location.
this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location.
somebody come ah! I'm gonna be using your car. I hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in, so life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need, put those on, then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. Oh, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well... Under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. Bullshit. Sir! Hey, what's happening, Michael? Ah, uh, my shift's about to start down at the FIB building. You know, get Gustavo and Norm on board and be ready for my signal in the fire truck. Okay, at least half the crew is serious. But we'll be ready to do this thing, dawg. You new? Just go through the turnstile. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up.
crap. Dirty. Dirty mop. You know you stay too late when the mopping dead show up.
Hey, don't work so hard. Building's closing any second. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? In and out, homies. Let's do it. All right, trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on. Painkillers or that loose notory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. <sighs> cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. Stand back. Removable drive in the server stack on the far wall. I got the drive. Let's go. Ah! 
Explosion must have knocked me out, man.
us to the getaway car. Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? I'm getting nervous, Frank. The fire truck can't go much quicker. the Lester's. Now that we're clear, I can probably tell you people. I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a dude, man. Oh, yeah, shit. I don't like speaking ill of the department, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, we made it out. So we got that to be thankful for. Norm's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Man, you really gonna miss him, huh? Hey, I don't like losing any of my crew. But, uh, Norm was special. He liked you, man. Yeah, he looked up to me, maybe. Man, when looking up to you, you got that poor fool killed. Chill the fuck out. Fucking idiot! Yeah. <laughs> 
careful! Hey, let's the place up here. Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! Right, we did it. Ow. How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow. 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 Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Ugh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, <clears throat> fill up the glasses. I've got some real. Vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. 